All right, guys, she races around tracks at over 125 miles per hour. That's faster than I drive in the interstate. It took me a minute, but I finally caught up with race car driver Jennifer Jo Cobb. So you've been racing all of your life. Uh, kind of give us your story. What's it like been racing uh, from a young age, the dirt tracks here in, in Kansas City to Kansas Speedway? Well, actually, it's, uh, it, it's such a crazy history because racing in Kansas City has changed so much over the years. I grew up going to the dirt tracks with my dad racing and, and just learning from him and absorbing and having that desire to race. And then when I turned 18, I had the chance to race at Lakeside Speedway, which was asphalt at the time. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then I-70 Speedway was asphalt. So I raced for 10 years at those two tracks before they built the Kansas Speedway. And when they built this magnificent facility, I just knew I had to race here. And so I went to school and studied marketing and sales and journalism and, and figured out how to Put that missing link together which was sponsorship and raising money to be able to come here and i've had some awesome kansas city backing ever since kansas city launched my racing career with companies like mark one electric and and pizza shop and think realty and and now we have community america added to our sponsorship portfolio so it is growing and i couldn't be more blessed or grateful and we're just always trying to get to where those multi-million dollar teams yeah. are but we're hanging in there pretty well what's so far. it like for you competing against those multi-million dollar teams. I mean, you had success last week in Talladega, even leading a couple laps down there in the truck race. Is it hard not to get down on yourself <laughs> when you see how well they do week after week and you can almost get there, but it seems like financially it's just a struggle. Right, you know, we, we are having a surge and we're growing and I'm having uh, more and more opportunities to race around the world now even. And so, uh, like I said, I'm very grateful for that, especially because I'm not here to tout like women, you know, should be able to race. I think you should be able to race at any age. And yeah. given the fact that I'm 45 years old, people kind of write me off and it's like, I'm still learning, I'm still growing and I can still do it, obviously, as we saw last week at Talladega. But money is the factor. And, and without that money, you lack the confidence because your engine's down on horsepower. Mm -hmm. I race on the tires, the big teams take off and graciously give to me and they yeah. say ah oh, there's no more speed left in them see what you can do with them <laughs> but if they didn't do that i would be sitting in the grandstands yeah. which is a great place to be and tickets are still available <laughs> um go to kansasspeedway.com but uh you know i i love being in the game and yeah. so it is my desire and challenge to continue to grow sponsorship so that maybe one day jennifer joe cobb racing will become one of those multi-million dollar teams